Keys have a conversation. There is a natural variation. When you are talking in front of an audience like this, it's easier to have volume variations. It's easier to have uh, other volume variations also. But I was telling them, no, even if you are talking one, one on one, you can still do the volume variations. So if I come and talk to Upeksha, you have done a really great job. You see, that's also a volume variation because I can see Metanan, he has improved so much. Well done. Can you see? From there I took it down, from there I took it up. So you can have the volume variations in whatever context, even a one on one conversation. And by the way, you do this all the time when you're having a conversation. Gayan and Buddhika, don't you do that all the time when you're having a conversation? Ah, it happens quite naturally. Volume variation. It's a speed variation. It happens automatically when you're having a conversation. You don't even think about it. Asela, let me tell you a let, uh, let me tell you a secret, Asmed. Meme, put up Majan. Come, come closer, come closer. Let me tell you a secret. Don't we do that? We do it. <laughs> so the key is have a conversation. <laughs> Lots of you said it when you came here and spoke also. It's about having a conversation. If you're having a conversation, there is no stress, there is no pressure, you're having a chat. And by the way, no one likes to listen to a speech, no one likes to listen to a presentation. People like to listen to a conversation. Why do people like a conversation? There is a natural variation. Rather than listening, they like to give ideas also. Yes, but it's more personal. When I'm having a conversation with you, you may not be saying anything back to me. But when it's a conversation, what's the key thing difference there? You are also part of it. Yeah, I'm with you. We are doing this together. Do you understand the difference? Rather than being one way. One way is boring, right? One way is so boring for me also. Sometimes I'm just talking and I don't see any reaction from the audience. That's really boring because then it becomes, ah, the conversation is not working. <laughs> now, actually with, with you all, I had a lot of fun also because we were engaging. There was a lot of, lot of discussion, a lot of fun things happened. It all depends on you. I shared a picture of me speaking at exactly the same thing, started accountants forum. Go and watch that video. But there's a shorter one of just the beatboxing part. <laughs> Four minutes or something. Watch both and see, is the crowd engaged or not? And you will find, yes, they are. They are smiling, they are clapping. You can see how I'm talking to them. I'm not making a presentation. I'm not making a speech. It's a conversation. Go and see. It's all about your intention. It all starts with your intention. What's, what's in your head? Whether it's the most professional forum or not. What's the similar thing with every forum? Every forum has human. Every human wants to feel valued. Every human wants you to not talk to them, but talk with them. They want to feel that you care about them. Whether you're the most highest person or the very junior person, same thing. I promise you, data can be the most interesting and data can be the most boring. You have to tell a story with the data. If you don't tell a story with the data, it's just numbers, it's the most boring thing in the world. If you tell a story with the data, it becomes the most interesting thing in the world. And what are you doing? You're comparing last year's performance with this year's performance. My God, that's such an interesting thing. That's what the whole company is about, right? Now, you, who likes to watch horror movies? In horror movie, what happens? Blood party. Not in every movie. A lot of movies, it's stories. But why do you like to watch horror movies? When you watch a horror movie versus a comedy, in a comedy you laugh, isn't it? If you watch a horror movie and laugh, there is a problem. So when you watch a horror movie, you are watching the horror movie because you want to feel another emotion. You want to feel scared, right? So it's a bad news story. You know at the end it's not going to be good. It's a bad news story, but it's a story, right? So sometimes you need to give bad news. Sometimes you need to give good news. But there is still a story there. So even if you're at a management meeting, you have to give a bad news and say, you know, sales have dropped. So you have to think. How can you package that story in the best possible way so that you still get the what? Why are you telling all your stories? Why are you making all your presentations, your speeches, your conversations? When you present some numbers or whatever, why are you doing it? There is a purpose. You have to be clear about the purpose. What's the purpose? If you are the head of sales and you, are, you have to present that the sales are down, you have to later make it profitable. Yes. But now I have to present. I'm just answering your questions. Purpose. So, let's say sales are down and I have to 
present the numbers now. Let's say you're the head of sales. You're presenting the numbers that sales are down. What's the purpose you're trying to achieve in, in that presentation? Now, imagine you're the head of sales. Sales are down. So what's the purpose? Is it inform? Justify and give strategy for how it's going to be next month. So purpose is I have to convince my top management that I haven't done a bad job here. Look, sales are down. There is a very good reason for that. I have to convince them that we have still worked hard. Although sales are down. I have to convince them, don't worry, I'm going to turn it around. There's a big purpose there. You can make data extremely interesting. You know what I used to do before I started doing corporate training? I used to be involved in selling ERP systems, enterprise resource planning software. Some of the most complicated software on the planet. Huge, very costly, right? How did I sell it? I always told a story. I never sold them features. I sold them stories. Imagine a customer comes now. When the customer comes, he's asking, oh, do you have TVs? I immediately log on, I check. And while I'm talking, I'm showing the screen. There are TVs. I tell the price to the customer. Tarinda. Tarinda says, Sanjeev, that's fine, but I need a quotation. I say, thank you, sir. Give me a moment. Yeah, I go to this screen. I print the quotation. I give it to him. What am I doing? I'm telling a story while showing the feature. Not just showing. Now we have a screen here where you can enter a quotation. Very boring. Yeah. Then Tarinda says, Sanjeev, but I, I, this price is too expensive for me. Do you have any special offers? Yes. Let me check. Oh, yes. We have a special offer here. You buy a TV, you get a VCR free. Tell a story. Data can be made very, very interesting. Do children have conversations with their parents? Isn't the authority level different? So let's say you're presenting to the board. You're a project manager. Say Amila is presenting to the board. Head of IT or whatever, but she's presenting to the board. Board is here, we are here. There is a reason the board is asking you to present to them. That's because they want to get something from you. There is something you know that they don't know. Otherwise, they don't have to call you to come and present. No. So they want something from you. You have to make this something sound interesting. Then they will listen. You have to, you have to try it and see. If we are calling Nayana, come and present to the Ministry of Finance or something, what's happening at the stock exchange. Yes, why are they calling you? Because they want to know something that uh, you know that they don't know. Tell it in a story. But of course, be humble. I'm so grateful to be here, sir, for, to present this to you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm really grateful. Thank you for having me here. Now, I would like to tell you a story of what's happening here. You get to know them first. You go and shake hands with them. You thank them. So again, it starts with where are you? What are you thinking about yourself? If you're thinking I'm a very junior guy, this board is not going to listen to me. What will happen? They won't listen to you <laughs> because you already they come in with that whole body language saying, I don't think you will listen to me and they'll be like but if you come in walking confidently having pride in yourself knowing what they can be at that level but you are still Gayan, you are still the project manager and you are still Gayan who has value what do we care if king charles walks in here what do we care so he's king charles so is it correct or not like you don't be scared right be respectful yes if somebody is asking a question listen to them and then you very firmly say no sir but i think you're wrong <laughs> they respect you for it how many people will stand up to the boss and say you're wrong you know that you know very good very good. I go to chairman also. Chairman is saying something wrong. Excuse me, sir. Of course, you say, sir. Depending on the company, depending on the culture. But I think you're wrong. 